happy together riding on a bike and the next minute they're all no longer with us, right? New at 6 tonight, we are learning more about a deadly crash this week on the Pinellas Trail. Today in court, Corey Corrado cried as troopers described the collision that killed two people riding a tandem bicycle. The judge ordered Corrado held without bond, saying he poses a danger to the community. Ed Intercise Jeff Patterson joining us live at the Pinellas County Courthouse with the latest on this story. Jeff. Good evening, Keith. Janine Dorsey and Peter Yor were killed on Tuesday as they rode a tandem bike together. Today, Dorsey's brother and Peter Yor's daughters addressed the court and the defendant. This was the scene of the crash on Tuesday from Eagle 8 HD. The FHP says a PT cruiser driven by 31-year-old Corey Corrado was speeding and weaving through traffic before slamming into another car that rolled onto the Pinellas Trail, instantly killing Peter Yor and Janine Dorsey. This is a photo shared with us by the family of the couple not long after they proudly purchased the bike. Family members say they rode it at least 100 miles every week. Today, a highway patrol trooper testified Corrado was under the influence of drugs when he caused the crash. A fact, Judge Philip Federico says he had to consider at today's bond hearing. So apparently he had enough in the system that at eight something when the accident happened at five something, three hours later, he still showed the signs of impairment. Federico ordered Corrado held without bond. I'm not sure how I can protect the community unless Mr. Corrado is in custody. The judge then allowed Janine Dorsey's brother to address Corrado. Everybody gets a chance in life, man. <laughs> And I think you've gotten your chance. Corrado kept his head in his hands and could be heard crying during the proceeding. After the hearing, Dorsey's father held a photo of her two daughters and spoke of the impact on the family. The oldest one, she just graduated from her master's and everything. Monday, and now she's planning a, a funeral. Very tough day in court. Corrado's criminal past was also brought up today. He's been arrested before on drug charges and burglary charges. He just got out of prison last December. Today, he's facing charges of two counts of DUI manslaughter and two counts of vehicular homicide. Family members told the judge today, family members of the victims told the judge today, they hope he spends the rest of his life in prison. Live in Pinellas County, Jeff Patterson, eight on your side.